Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex again with another Subaru video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to look for your blind spot monitoring and tell you a little bit about what that is in your Subaru. If you guys are new to my channel and like watching Subaru videos, then please click that subscribe button down below. Also, if you get any value out of this video, please be sure to smash the like button. And if you have questions at the end, leave them down in the comment section below. So not every Subaru is going to have blind spot monitoring. It's typically only offered on the premium trim on up in all of the models. So whether you have a Forester or an Outback or something like that, it's only offered on certain trim levels. This one is the Forester. And the quickest way you can tell is by folding this mirror in and looking for this little black screen. This lights up orange when you have somebody in your blind spot on the left side of the car or on the right side of the car. And there's sensors all around the back of the bumper to detect those cars behind you. So you can actually turn this feature on and off in your Subaru. We're in the Forester now, but this is the exact same option for the Crosstrek, the Ascent, and the Impreza. So you'll see it over here on the left-hand side of the vehicle. There's this little icon. You click that and it'll tell you on your dash that it's been turned off and it'll light up orange over here as well so it'll stay lit up orange telling you that it's off and whenever you turn it on you'll see it light up over here and i'll also show you guys how to do this in the outback and the legacy because it is a little bit different but it's super easy uh, so the outback and the legacy has a different infotainment system so what you want to do is click on the home screen if you're not already there click on the car icon to the bottom left and then driving assistance at the top and then from there, you'll see BSD, which stands for blind spot detection slash RCTA, which is rear cross traffic alert. And you can toggle that on or off from the touchscreen display in your Outback and your Legacy. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please click that like button. Let me know your thoughts on this feature. If you like the new location of the blind spot monitoring on the inside of the mirror cap, or if you prefer the old version, I'm kind of curious to know. And also if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.